Okay, so we're talking about the new Predator movie. The Predator. What was the name of the movie? It was The, the Predator. The Predator. Zebra. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, I thought it was not bad, actually. Okay. But, um, I reached that conclusion after uh, a lot of thinking because prime, when I first saw it, I thought it was kind of shit. Not, not that good. Hey, Baxley, if your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought about it and I looked, tried to sort of like dissect the movie. And then I came to the conclusion that it's sort of like, um, it has, it's like a, <laughs> it's, it's sort of like a, like a person who hasn't got a lot of talent, but is really trying yeah. their best. So you sort of have to give them like, sort of like a, a bonus star in a way. But who's the person who has no talent in this well, I, equation? Um, it's not, it's, it's, it is the writer in a way, but, it, and also the movie that the writer directed. But um, what I mean by that is that I think he had all the elements there, but he just was unable to create a really, like a good movie out of all these elements. But the elements, I think, are halfway proper. But all the elements that are there need some tweaking or a lot of tweaking. Like when you think about it, because you're going to need, you have this um, group of guys and women who are sort of like the, the heroes of the story. Now, the problem is that um, they're played by really good actors and actresses, but they're not that interesting. I mean, it's, uh, it's just sort of a cheap gimmick to have them be these uh, mentally ill people. Because it's, it's like this... Um, it's sort of like the silicone breast or the silicone implant of personalities that you sort of give them these quirks that sort of mask the fact that they're not that interesting. Yeah. And um, the second thing is the world building in the movie. That Well, you have to world build a little bit in this movie. In, it's because it's basically, it's like the, depending on how you look at it, it's the third or the fourth movie in the series. So you have to like expand it a little bit. And I think it's a valiant effort. It, there's this really weird um, plot about the predator that comes to Earth, the first one being like uh, infused with human DNA. And that he's here, a spoiler alert, he's here to give us some sort of a weapon or some sort of a cure or something like that. And it's sort of a fun idea to have like a predator that is hunting other predators, like the super predator. It's sort of like a, it's it, it's a it's a funny idea, but it just doesn't really work that well in the movie. Yeah. Like it's sort of like it's it comes across a little bit silly in a way. And um, and what and then the the thing about the predators is that um, I mean the actual creatures is that. They have this, uh, it's a good scene in the trailer that was not in the movie when this, um, basically the main human antagonist says that the Predators just don't sit around making hats out of rib cages. They conquered space. So they're really like, um, they're an extremely smart race of creatures. And I, I think that is sort of an interesting, interesting thing in itself but the problem is that they are trying they're basically trying to do what Prometheus and uh, Alien Covenant is trying to do so so they, they have this sort of like a cool idea back in the day and nobody thinks about it further and then you have to sort of reverse engineer from that cool idea the whole myth mythology of the creature yeah but my problem is that do you really have to do that because a lot of movies tend to do that. I know that, that I know I, 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 I talked about this when we talked about the Alien movie, mm. and I've, I've 
referred to Prometheus as well. I mean, I like Prometheus, but I agree that it's nowhere near as good as Alien. Mm. And I've been thinking, why is it nowadays in movies that all of these sort of mythological creatures, you have to give them a back backstory? They, it, it, they, it feels like all the screenwriters now think that you actually have to have to do that mm. in order to uh, make it interesting. And I think the world building is actually, it, it, it's, the, it's the wrong direction. Yeah. Because every time you world build, every time you make sense of what an alien mm. is, or make sense of, you know, every time it strips away from, from it being interesting, mm. because you don't have, you don't, project anything yeah any kind of imagination yeah just start sort of explaining away the 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 interesting bits yeah it's funny because that's basically the same problem that people have when they read a really good book and yeah. then they see a movie made from that really good book and they're like this is shit this yeah. is not as good and it's because of that reason because when you have a book your mind fills in the blanks and it create with the imagination is so uh, so it creates a world that you can't really quite see or grasp, and that, it, that is what makes it interesting. In yeah, way. And that's. I think that's my problem. I mean, I mean, think about like take a, another sort of rubber monster, mm. a, an iconic rubber monster like Jaws. No. And I know the Jaws sequels have been shit. No. But trying to explain where the giant shark came from. No doesn't really accomplish anything no it doesn't i think it, it only it only makes it less and less interesting every time yeah. and i i don't think that that's an you don't necessarily have to do that for example look at mad max movies yeah you don't really explain a lot of the baddies in any of them you don't really go that's into true. the depth of what happened and why it happened and so on and so on and so on yeah, I think the only actually I, yeah, I, I think the only one who's sort of been able to do that in the sequel was James Cameron with Terminator Two, mm. because there he sort of built the world. He explained a lot of yeah. the stuff that was sort of referred to in the first one, and it didn't feel it didn't feel like it was sort of destroying the mm. the, the Terminator completely. Mm. They destroyed them in the further sequels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, every time now that they've s s tried to expand it, every time it goes to shit. Yeah. And I don't get why Hollywood screenwriters of se sequels don't understand that. No, that you have it's, to. It's an obvious problem, really, yeah. because you have this like a, you have. A, let's say that you have an interesting villain like the Predator or the Alien, and then you just. Then you have this problem of. Uh, you always insert that thing into new circumstances. Yeah. But the problem is that the new circumstances have to be really interesting because the one thing that is actually really, really interesting, that is the villain, stays always the same, so it's sort of stagnant. Yeah. So you have this temptation that, because you have to sort of create air into the script or the movie, and you have this one went that is the villain, and you sort of want to just push out some air through that vent, so it makes it makes it makes the whole th that you have new elements in the movie. Yeah. But the Mad Max ex uh, example was really interesting because it's true; they really don't explain anything, almost yeah. anything, and it really it always works basically. Yeah, yeah that that was. Uh, I think that they they should take perhaps take a page of a few of a horror sequels because. Mm. Horror sequels tend to not be as good as the original either. Mm. But a lot of horror writers seem to be able to at least, you know, they're not trying to explain like Jason Borges away mm. constantly. They might give him a bit of a backstory, mm. but he's still this faceless monster yeah. that just appears from the darkness. And that's effective. That's the problem I had, and, and also what you were saying about, about, about the circumstances having to be interesting. That was the, my main problem with The Predator, mm. was that I didn't find that suburban, uh, ha get the kids involved no, it's not, kind of thing. No. It, it just didn't, it, 
it doesn't didn't work. work. No. It doesn't work in that context. No. Or else you have to have really charismatic. And I, I disagree about the actors as well. I think they were, it, it was a hugely miscasting mm. movie. I, don't, I, I didn't think that any of the characters were interesting. Any of the characters were really memorable. They were trying to make them memorable mm. by doing that, that Shane Black thing mm. where they say quirky things mm. or they say profane things or, or some, uh, somehow sort of, sort of out of left field comes mm. a comment and stuff like that. But it just, I, I don't think that any of the characters were really equipped to, to perform an, mm. a Shane Black script. Mm. That, Maybe, I think that, that was the um, problem. Who's the who? What was the name of the actor who was playing the main antagonist? The 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 blonde guy, the, sh the sniper. No, not the sniper, but uh, the the, the, um, the um, African American. Dude. Oh, the uh, Sterling. Sterling something. Sterling K something. Yeah. I know. Uh, I I know him because he's a re he's a really good actor. Yeah, I, and I, I really think like he him. was really good. Yeah, yeah. He maybe, had this yeah. sort of like. Um, he was sort of like, I think he really nailed the character. I mean, Boyd Holbrook, the blonde guy, was yeah. he's always pretty much the same dude. And he's good at being that same dude. But um, I, I, I think it's think not I've, enough. I don't think I've seen him in a lot of stuff. He was in Narcos and then he was in uh, Logan. He was the main Oh villain, yeah, in yeah. Logan. In Logan he was okay. But in, even in Logan, I didn't think that... He was less an interesting of a bad guy than Hugh Jackman was <laughs> as the oh, really? as, yeah. <laughs> as the double. I think well, that is not a good, yeah. good sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think that I, I don't really. He reminds me of um, what's the guy's name who played in Sons of Anarchy and played in the new awful King Arthur movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. He reminds yeah. me of him. Both are sort of, you know, stereotypical, blonde, mm. good-looking guys, guys. Yeah. And, and neither of them really create any kind of... They, they're just not interesting to me. No. They're just so bland mm. as... And, and they, t send, they have the same problem, that they send, seem to be able to only play that one role. Mm. Um, I haven't seen Narco, mm. so I can't I can't say anything about that. But I I had a I had real real problems with the Predator. I yeah. I thought that because in in the beginning when I heard that this is going to be that they're going to sort of rejuvenate it mm. like they did with the Predators mm. movie a few years back, and I I felt that the same thing happened that it was a lot of hype, and then in the end it amounted to another shit movie about a really interesting monster. Well, that's the thing, because I, I started to wonder that is it even possible to make a really good new Predator movie? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the same, because when I saw Predator 2, mm. uh, I originally, when I saw it, I, I thought that that was qu kind of interesting. Yeah. Now that when I s saw it again, it's shit, mm. it's complete shit. It's really, really bad, but but imagine if you take that premise, sort of like the same script, and you bring it to this day with the production values, and um, I think it's still an interesting script because the yeah. thing about the or, or or an interesting idea, yeah, 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 at least, yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought it was a good idea to bring him from the jungle to mm. the urban jungle, and now they've tried to move him to the suburban jungle, mm. which no. which doesn't work no. at all. No, it doesn't. I, I don't think uh, generally in 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 terms of creating a, a, a an interesting movie environment, I think suburbia tends to work quite badly unless it's a it's a it's a rom com or a teen comedy or something like no. that. No, right. Uh, if you're trying to insert a sort of level of action, suburbia to me just kinds of kind of tends to water it down a bit. It does. It, it's not that. That's why I like the idea about Predator too, because it's the urban jungle. Mm. It is the it's the high rise and it's the yeah. concrete and it's steel and 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 it, there's darkness mm. and there's sort of dark alleyways and yeah. and and. and uh, 
the elevation difference itself yeah, yeah. is interesting and so on. And then when you have these lot of sort of small houses and lawns and picket fences, it just... Maybe you have to make a predator that is set in the future, in this anime future, yeah. this sort of dystopia. Yeah. This stuff Blade Runner future, yeah. and then you just have a predator stop by. Yeah. And um, I think that, that I think that that that's what they were gonna trying to do with mm. Predator Two because it was set back yeah. then. It was set in the mm. future, in the very sort of like five years yeah. into the future or seven years or something like that. But it was still it still had these futuristic elements mm. within it, uh, and like I said, it didn't didn't work at all. The only thing, the only good thing I, I, I thought that the Predator had, and this is a very minor thing, uh, but it had some nice nods to the fans. Mm. It had, for example, they talked about Predator being a hunter and not mm, a Predator, no. which was the name of the original script for really? the original Predator. Wow. They, it was called The Hunter because Predator, it, like they say, in, in it doesn't really work. Mm. Predator doesn't... It, eats its prey mm. and 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 this is more of a sports hunter uh but i also agree that predator is a way cooler name than the hunter and i think that was <laughs> yeah. nice that's not a predator that's a sports hunter well we took a vote predator's cooler right <laughs> fuck yeah i think also it was nice that they had jake Busey as <laughs> in yeah, it, and, yeah. and they didn't explain that at no, all no he was just there. he was just there and he was continue his father's yeah, yeah. work <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they made no reference yeah. i i loved that that mm. they made no reference yeah. to that because it it's it would have been it would have lessened the mm. impact if they would have started to maybe a scene know. somewhere where he's sitting <laughs> At his desk, and there's a picture of his father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I, I thought that was I thought that was nice. Um, but other than that, I think that there were a lot of there were a lot of problems, um, and I was really really disappointed when I got out got out of the movie. Yeah, me too. I, I like I had, like I said back then, I have I had a friend who saw Bad Boys Two mm. in the movie theaters, and when he got out of the theater, he he felt angry. Mm. He felt angry that it was such a shitty film. No. And I had that same feeling about the Predator. That that I was I was actually I was actually you know, physically angry <laughs> about having to, having having this because I love the creature. No. I think it's uh, and I'm going to we're going to do a separate thing about the Predator franchise and I'm going to talk more about the creature itself but but it, it is it is one of the modern classic it is. designs it is. Uh, for a monster mm. um, and and I'm just tired of having that monster much like the alien just drag through mm. shit like no. drag through a sewer and paraded mm. and just making just an obvious cash cow no. for for it's like goers. seeing your high school boyfriend <laughs> was really hot and smart and he's now selling bagels at the street corner so it's yeah it's it's, it's a disgrace really <laughs> and the added insult is that it was really uh, at least for me the name of shane black was sort of uh, giving me extra hope that i mean if they're gonna get it right this is this is the way to get it right